In this video, Lancers, we're going to analyze series circuits. And it's important to remember that in a series circuit, there's only one path for the current, which means the current stays the same throughout the whole circuit, the whole time, the current stays the same in series. That's really important to know. The current stays the same in series. What stays the same in series? Oh, the current does. If you ever forget what stays the same in series, I want you to have it written down on your hand that the current stays the same in series. So you always have that in your head. The current stays the same in series. Everywhere it's across the series circuit, the current stays the same. So we're going to use that to help us analyze this. The question says, calculate the voltage, current, and power for each resistor. And so you see that we have a series circuit here. Just because this 6 ohm is, is turned 90 degrees does not really affect the, um, the way it operates. It's still going to uh, be just as in series as the other two. So we have three resistors in series. And we want to figure out what is the voltage just in the 9 volts. So I know there's 24 volts total, but how much of that will be on the 9 volts? Well, it's not going to be 24 volts because they have to share that voltage with the other ones it's in series with. What's the current going to be? I don't know. I don't have to be the same throughout the whole circuit. But what's the current in the 9 ohm uh, resistor? How much power is it dissipating? So we're going to answer those questions. I've organized that information. At this time, before you may go enjoy your lunch at the cafeteria, make sure to pull your mask up and social distance. Thank you. We're going to organize that information in a chart over here where we have our very important physics. That's resistance, voltage, current, and power. And we can then, for the 9 ohm resistor, get the voltage, the current, and the power. And so what are the steps we're going to follow? First, we're going to draw an equivalent circuit. We're going to use the equivalent circuit to calculate our unknown value, in this case current. We're going to then use that value to substitute in for our circuit and solve for any other unknown values, calculate the power using power equals voltage times current. So those are sort of the steps we're going to follow. Let's go ahead and begin by coming up with our equivalent circuit. The equivalent circuit, you ask yourself what single resistor could replace the, the multitude of resistors here? Um, how can I simplify these into a single resistor? Well, 9 and 21 would add in series to be 30, and 6 would make that 36. So if I had one resistor to replace all three of those, it would have to have a resistance of 36 ohms. And so I can sort of view the equivalent of this as a 36 ohm resistor connected to a 24 volt battery. They're similar. Then I can use Ohm's law, I equals V over R. I'm going to apply it to the total voltage of my circuit, that is 24 volts, and the total resistance of the circuit, that is 36 ohms. And to simplify this, you can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 12. 24 divided by 12, well that's going to be 2. 36 divided by 12 is going to be 3. 2 divided by 3 is 2 thirds amp. If you prefer to write this as 0 0.66 amps, that is fine. Um, I'm going to leave it as 2 thirds amp for myself. Now, here's the beauty. Now that I know the current coming out of the battery, so this is the total current for the, out of the battery. It's going to be 2 thirds of an amp coming out. Okay? And I can view this current coming out through the 36 ohms. But because it's in series, what stays the same? The current does. So I'm going to have two thirds of an amp here, two thirds of an amp everywhere. So I can come over to this chart and I know that I have two thirds of an amp for every one of those resistors. Two thirds of an amp for every one of those resistors because the current has to stay the same in series. Now I can look at voltage. To get voltage, 
Voltage equals I times R. We'll manipulate Ohm's law. V equals I R. And we're going to just apply it individually to this resistor. So if I want us to do V here, V equal to I times R. Well, what's two thirds of nine? That's six volts. What's two thirds of 21? Hmm. That's going to be 14 volts. What's two thirds of six? That's going to be four volts. Now, one of the things you might want to do to check yourself is add all of those up. Let's see, 6 plus 14 is 20, plus 4 is 24 volts. Why is that significant? Because we have 24 volts on the battery. So if the amount of energy in these charges, when they come out, if they lose 6 volts of energy coming across here, so they're going to lose 6 volts here, and they lose 14 volts there, and then they lose uh, let's, that's 4 volts there, when they get back, they have zero volts. And that has to happen. Okay, any time around, they're going to come back to the battery with zero volts. They're going to spend all their energy. And so if it was less than that, you're like, hey, where did the extra energy go? If it was more than 24, you're like, how is that possible? They only had 24 volts of energy to begin with. How could they spend more than that? And so this, knowing that they have 24 volts of energy, you can say, hey, does that make sense that on this one they spend six volts of it? 14 and 4. Okay, that's just something to keep in mind. You can check yourself that way. And if you were to go into a circuit and actually build this and put a voltmeter across the 9 ohm resistor, you would measure 6 volts. If I went measured from here to here, I'd measure 20 volts. That's the 6 plus the 14. There'd be a 20 volt difference there. The last step is to calculate the power, and we're going to use the equation. Power is voltage times current, P equals V times I. So in this case, I want two thirds of six, and I can do that. That's going to be four watts. I want two thirds of 14. That one's not quite as easy. Um, 28 thirds. 28 thirds of a watt. 9.3. You take 28 divided by 3, you're going to get about 9.33 watts, so you can do that instead. Um, 4 times 2 thirds, 4 times 2 is 8, so that's 8 thirds. Uh, that's about the same as 2.6 watts. 2.6 with the 6 is repeating. So, in this way, we have calculated the voltage, current, and wattage for each one of these. Now, the interesting thing is that if they were light bulbs, the one with the highest wattage would be glowing the brightest. And so in series, it's your greatest resistor. The 21 ohms, our biggest resistor, has 9.33 watts. That would have the most energy being dissipated. So if it were a light bulb, it would be glowing the brightest. But that's how you solve a series circuit. Let's let you go ahead and try solving one and uh, see what you can do with it. Okay? And now let's check your answers.